Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I am Jerrica and my channel is all about everything that deals with holistic healing. Healing the person as a whole, mind, body, and spirit. Because the mind and the body interacts with each other because we are nothing but energy. So we have to do things to align us and we can do so through yoga, sound vibration healing, of course, I am the curvy fit vegan, so eating foods that are empowering you and carrying you out on your day-to-day -day mission, because we all have purpose here. If you have life, you have purpose. So it's very important that we keep ourselves and our body as a temple and understand that we're energy and any time that we are falling off the track or not feeling at ease, allowing disease to kind of manifest itself we can change that because everything is vibrational so today i have a wonderful practice for us to do it is a yoga kriya that is dedicated to strengthening the aura yes the ancient yogis knew that if anything negative that was happening to us whether that was affecting our health or our reality which we see in our day-to-day -day life is because there was a compromise in our aura our aura is the shield i like to say that protects our physical body and our spiritual body because again we are energy and so if there's any type of illnesses or anything that's happening to us it's because our aura is not strong is weakened and to strengthen that aura we can do kriyas and i guess you want to know like what is kriyas i had to write this stuff down so i will remember so if you see me looking at my paper it's because i want to give you the right kriya so the word kriya means action of course and that leads to completion of manifestation that allows our seeds are also known as intentions to come to blossom or bloom a thought comes into actuality, a desire becomes a commitment. So when we speak about Kriya and yoga, it's basically sequence of postures, breaths, and sound that are integrated, integrated, excuse me, together to allow the manifestation of a particular state. So whatever state that is that you want to become or be in, um, embody. That is the purpose of um, doing the Kriyas. And so this Kriya that we're going to do today is dedicated and emphasizes on strengthening our aura. For Strategy and Teacher, we chant. Chants and sounds and vibration to send the message out to the divine that we are connected to the universal forces around us and the, the divine wisdom within us. So the chant is Om Namon Guru De Namon. We're gonna chant that three times. If you don't feel comfortable chanting, you do not have to chant. You can just listen, but I am gonna chant. So we're gonna bring our hands together. Thumbs are pressing into our heart sternum. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna take a couple deep breaths in. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last one before we begin. Um, no Grew to vain, 
Keep your core nice and tight. And we're going to do that for a minute and a half on each side, okay? And remember, this is... Breathe in and breathe out. Keep the toes pointed down. Remember, your attention for your practice today is to strengthen your aura, to align you. You're doing a great job. We're halfway through. Remember, if you need to take breaks, do so. But come back when you can join us. We want to strengthen, but not strain or hurt ourselves. So we have to know, learn the difference. We're gonna do. We're gonna extend our arms out long out in front of us. Make sure the shoulders are down, and we're gonna turn our right hand palm arm facing the opposite direction. So turn it this way. Yeah. Right, and then we're going to interlace both of our hands together so it's like a fist. Close fist. Yes, I know it might feel weird. It felt weird for me when I first did it, so no worries. So we're going to do this one for three minutes. And all it is is an active pump. So you're going to breathe in, bring your arms up, and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. This one here may be a little extremist on the arms, but think about it. Not only are you strengthening your aura, your spirit, and you're glowing, and I see it, but you're also working those arms. So your arms are going to be looking so fabulous and beautiful at the same time. Okay, so this is an all-around practice that we want to do each and every day, especially if you're short on time and you want to align yourself, okay? Three minutes. Let's go. And remember, you can take breaks if you need to. Go at your own pace. Keep your core nice and tight. Remember, all movement begins in your core. So squeezing and breathing and smiling. Giving thanks. Setting the tensions for the day ahead or for the moment that you're in. Whatever you need, this is it. Arms are 60 degree overhead. Just keep going, breathing, and breathing out. There you go. Keep going. Oh my gosh, we're like halfway there. I know it. But just imagine how beautiful your arms and your spirit is gonna feel and look after this, right? We have something to look forward to. going like I said if you need to stop if this is feeling too much and your arms is like oh my gosh please relax and come back when you can but squeeze and breathe breathe in and breathe out all right come on we there just a little while a little bit longer. Good 
Good job. Come on, you got this. You're becoming stronger as you continue to push. Look at us. Less than 30 seconds left. This is the home stretch. You got this. Bring the arms up, relax the hands, let the palms face each other, breathe in, breathe in, hold it, and relax. Oh, you might wanna switch the cross of your legs so you can be balanced on each side. All right, so we're gonna extend our arms out in front of us, palms facing each other, and all we're gonna do is just bring our, open and close basically so close and open basically you are just sweeping all the debris all of the energy that has been stuck or magnetized to you in your aura strengthening your aura all the way around you this pure light that you are embodying now is going to be completely swept clean and strengthened so you can glow okay so we're going to do this for three minutes again you, your arms may feel tired but anytime it does just relax and come back to it okay all right let's go just imagining yourself sweeping away everything that's no longer serving you Imagine your aura just becoming brighter and brighter as you breathe in and breathe out. It's becoming really, really strong. You're just embodying this light that is just a straight magnetism, okay? You're going to just magnetize everything that is good to you and you're throughout the day. I promise you this. I do this Priya before I go to work at times, so like when I first get up in the morning, because <laughs> you gotta set the tone, the stage on how you want your day to unfold. Ooh, literally, when I do this Priya, my children wake up and they're at peace. I have three girls, and so waking up in the morning with three girls, getting them ready for their day can be a little stressful. So adding this really does help, <laughs> okay? Let's keep on going. Ooh, my arms getting a little tired as well, as you can see. But you keep going. I'm joining. Coming back with you. We here for each other, okay? But again, literally, this is a phenomenal career. I love doing it. It does strengthen your aura and it helps magnetize your manifestations and your attentions throughout the day or throughout, however long you are trying to manifest, whatever it is. Ooh, come on, arms. such a beautiful day today i love the sun right now currently wherever you are in the world i pray that everything is beautiful with you as well right now we're going through a solar eclipse so this here priya is very timely solar eclipse just means that the sun is blocked out by the moon it doesn't mean that the physical sun we can't see it but just our internal sun we need to generate some heat so strengthening our aura doing these kriyas would definitely help my arms are burning Whew. it feels so good Whew. 30 seconds left let's do it we got this so gracefully we got this you got this right we breathe in oh my god less than 10 seconds left home stretch home stretch we got this we got this and we're done relax allow all the sensations just to settle in
we're gonna close that practice with a lot with a um, satnam satnam means truth is my name so i am going to chant that Sa Thank you, and let you have a phenomenal, beautiful day.